So what is death wobble exactly? Well, if you've experienced it before, you already know. You get the violent shake in the steering wheel, the vehicle just goes side to side, everything's all shaking apart, coming loose, and you feel like you're gonna crash and go off the road. Well, that's death wobble. What happens is the tires start fighting each other, it starts messing with the steering, and it starts oscillating back and forth, and it transfers up all the way through the steering wheel, and it's, it's violent shake of the steering wheel, and it can be quite scary, especially at highway speeds. But when you upgrade your wheels and tires, especially to bigger tires, the first thing you need to do is obviously an alignment, not only to help the tires last longer, but it does also, a bad alignment can also contribute to death wobble. If you have the tires, if they're towed in too far or outboarded too far, they can start fighting each other when you're going down the road, and that can build that momentum and that's what can cause death wobble. So the first thing to do, get an alignment when you get new tires. The second thing, if you do experience death wobble, then the second thing to check for is your bushings throughout. So when I say throughout, I mean your tie rod bushings, your drag link bushings, your upper control arm bushings, your track arm bushings. So if you have anything loose in any one of those bushings or anything that's controlling the axle and keeping it in place, there's a very good chance that that's what's causing your death wobble as well. So first thing I always like to do is when we're looking at at, at different causes to death wobble is the track arm bushing. Track arms are usually Besides alignments, probably the number one cause to death wobble. So there's two different ways to check these track arm bushings. Is one of them is when you have the weight off of the suspension like we do now. We have the Jeep suspended up in the air and we have somebody go in and turn the steering wheel. We can see if there's any play in here. And then we just have somebody either grab the wheel, grab the tire and turn the, the tire to see if there's any loose play here or even uh, shake the tire to see if there's any loose play here. We can also get a crowbar in here as well and start moving that crowbar around or the pry bar and see if there's any play in any of these track arm bushings, whether it's the lower track arm bushing or the upper track arm bushing up here, or it could even be your tie rod bushings. One thing to do is grab your drag link and you can turn it like this. Now on JLUs, this is pretty common to have just a little bit of play in there. Um, it just built into here. So when you turn the steering wheel, there's it's not super tight and doesn't allow the steering to work, but um, so you're gonna have a little bit of play in here, but if it was super sloppy and you could tell it was really loose, then you know your bushings are shot on the drag link. Uh, same thing with the tie rod, you're gonna have just a little bit of play in there, um, but if it was loose and it just didn't feel right, then you know it was your tie rod bushing. So definitely check those. Steering stabilizers, now there's a lot of misconception out there on the internet that a steering stabilizer can fix your death wobble. It may be a temporary solution, to a permanent fix, but don't rely on a new steering stabilizer as the permanent fix to your death wobble because that's not the case. We do have steering stabilizers on our website. So if you do replace the bushings and you found that that fixes the death wobble, then go ahead and place the steering stabilizer as well as that will reduce the amount of wear that is going into your bushings as the steering stabilizer is designed to absorb some of that impact from some of those obstacles out on the trail. So then if you check your track arm bushings, you check your drag link bushings, tie rod bushings, you notice that all of that is tight, nothing is loose there. The next thing to go to is your upper control arm bushings and lower control arm bushings, both on the axle side and on the frame side of the vehicle. So after you've checked all of your bushings underneath the Jeep, what we're gonna do is we're just gonna have somebody jump in there. We're gonna have them turn the steering wheel and just look to see if there is any more play that we can't see from just being underneath the Jeep. We're gonna do it with the weight off of the Jeep like it is now, and then we're gonna go ahead and lower the hoist, and we're gonna put the weight back on the suspension, put the vehicle weight back on the axle, and then we're also gonna do that again. We're gonna have somebody turn the steering wheel for us and just see if there is any play. We like to check it both ways, just because without the weight of the vehicle on the suspension and somebody turns the steering wheel to see if there's any play, you may not notice that there's any movement in any of the bushings, but once we put that vehicle weight down onto the suspension, onto the axle, um, and then turn the steering wheel, it's gonna apply a lot more pressure to the bushings, and when we turn the steering wheel, you might be able to see that play at that point. So we're gonna do it both ways, up in the air and down on the ground, and to see if anything's loose.
All right, so now that we've checked everything with the weight off of the suspension, off of the axle, we're gonna go ahead and lower the Jeep down back on the ground with the weight on the suspension, the weight back on the axle, and then we're gonna go through it again and we're gonna check all those bushings, check the steering box, check anything else that might be a little bit loose. All right, guys, well, after putting the weight back on the suspension, back on the front axle and scissoring the steering wheel, everything on here seems to be nice and tight, nice and buttoned up. So we're not gonna have any issues with any kind of death wobble right now, but it's something to keep an eye on, either preemptively to do it occasionally, maybe when you're doing an oil change to just go through and check all your bushings and brackets and everything else that's underneath their steering box, all of that good stuff. But make sure and let us know, what do you guys all look for when diagnosing death wobble? Is there something that we missed today that you guys do that we don't? Make sure and let us know in the comments below. Also, if you guys have experienced death wobble and have some sort of crazy story to tell about it, definitely make sure and let us know that as well. Other than that, if you like today's video, don't forget to hit that thumbs up. And for more videos like this, make sure and hit that subscribe button. As always, guys, we appreciate all of you for watching and all of your support. I'm Josh from Trailbuilt, and we'll see you guys out on the trails.